All right, Jason, thank you. Well, it might feel distant to talk about record heat or hurricane season during the winter, but globally, January was the hottest ever recorded, and that makes eight consecutive months of record hot global temperatures. National climate reporter Chase Kane brings us a global temperature check, which also comes with an early warning about hurricane season. Boil a pot of water, turn off the heat, and notice how long the water stays hot. The same thing is happening with Earth's oceans, except we haven't turned off the heat yet, because the primary source of heat is humans burning oil, coal, and gas. And climate scientists are increasingly concerned. We're starting to see the impacts of the greenhouse gases themselves. Um, they're ratcheting up at levels you know, that, that we've never seen before. You know, the ocean warming is the part that really concerns me, especially in regions like South Florida, where the reality is that's not going back down. The oranges and reds on this map show where ocean temperatures were above average at the start of 2023. And look what's happening happened over the last 12 months. This chart gives some historical context to the ocean heat. The orange line is 2023, already off the charts. Then look at the black line of this year so far, even hotter. And maybe two or three degrees doesn't sound like a lot to you, but think about the last time you were sick. If you took your temperature and it was 101 or approaching 102 degrees, you'd probably call the doctor, right? Especially if that fever kept creeping higher and higher and that's exactly what's happening in our oceans. The extreme heat is killing fish, the food we eat, killing fragile coral reefs, and setting the stage for a concerning start to hurricane season. Because of the higher ocean temperatures. Freddie Otto is one of the world's leading scientists studying how climate affects extreme weather, and she warns that record hot oceans increase the likelihood a hurricane intensifies into a major destructive one, like with Otis, Edalia, and Ian. And every hurricane that, that now exists contains more moisture than it would have without climate change. And that means the rainfall associated is in every case stronger than it would have been. And so the flood damage from hurricanes is larger because of climate change. And storms aside, oceans help moderate temperature on land. So the hotter they get, the hotter we get. So it's important that we turn off the source of the heat by turning off fossil fuels. In New York, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane.